Hey, we are in Queenie Park. We're getting ready for the big brick convention that's taking place this weekend right here in Greensfelder Complex. And E.J. Bocan the third, is joining us right now, and we're talking about his artwork. He's one of the featured artists this week. Thanks for getting up early with us. Yeah, man. absolutely. It's great to be here. Now, I, I love your work. So cool. And you you were mentioning that, that there's a lot of variety in the way these are done. They're, they're non-traditional. Yeah, so... There's a lot of different Lego mosaics um, that people have made sure. or that, that Lego does. And what I do with my mosaics is I try to use a lot of different techniques and I try to push the envelope to make things that are different so that you know, people can see all the different types of Lego pieces and what goes into making those. So let's take a look at this first one. The first one here we have is Rip Wheeler. This is from the Yellowstone. show Yellowstone. Yeah. And this one's kind of a simpler mosaic. It uses a lot of round pieces. So we've got a lot of flat round pieces. And then we have like the textured round pieces with uh, the studs on them. So that kind of gives it a little bit of texture. And that's one of the things that I really like to focus on is texture when I'm building. I like that. Yeah. Very nice. And then the Joker here, yeah. you're using a, a wide variety of pieces. Yeah, so with the Joker, we're using m a bigger palette of pieces. Uh, we've got big round pieces. We've got little clip pieces. We've got little tooth pieces. We've got grill pieces. So what's really awesome about this type of mosaic artwork is you can really appreciate it up close and see all those different shapes that make it up. And then when you stand back, it comes into view and you see that big picture where it looks really cool. I love that. That's what I love about it too. You can get back, but you can see the detail up close. Yeah. Really cool. This Taylor Swift is done in a different way as well. Yeah. So each time that I build a mosaic, I try to push myself uh, artistically and try to do something different every time. So with Taylor Swift, if you look up close, you can see every single row is ch -ch -ch offset. So it's jump to the left, jump to the right. Rather than being in rows and, or columns like this, like the other ones are, yeah. this one's offset. So this is kind of a pointillist um, type artwork. So I've got a lot of those round pieces and a lot of layers. So we've got different colors overlaid with different other colors. So that adds like little glimpses of color in there. And then, you know, when you pull back and take a look at the big picture, uh, you know, you see that Taylor Swift. It's, it's unbelievable. And then this is a big one here. Yeah, this, so this is probably, hours. So probably about 200 hours on this one. This is probably my most involved, uh, most complex mosaic. Uh, this is a copy of the Sistine Chapel, uh, which is the creation of Adam here. And this one is completely different. Uh, I, I've never seen anyone do a, a technique like this before, so I, I'm going to say that I, I made this up. But what's really cool is it's all stepped and layered. And I'm going to take a piece off here, and I'm going to show you all the support that goes into this. Because those other mosaics, they're just flat. But this one, when you look at it, look at all that support. Wow. So there's tons and tons of pieces that you don't even see when you're looking at the image. Normally, you build on one of these flat base plates, and you go up. So I built that up like steps. Oh, wow. Yeah. So when you look at this image, you're looking at the hypotenuse here of that triangle, which is really, really crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you what, yeah, yeah, a lot going on, on right here. Uh, you got to come check it out, though. It is the Brick Convention right here in the Greensfelder Complex in Quinney Park. It's taking place Saturday and Sunday. They got different time sections for you to go to. A couple of them on Saturday already sold out, so make sure you get your tickets. Uh, I believe they're uh, $18? So $18 at the door, but if you buy them online, it's only $15. And then you make sure you get one and make sure you have a place. Three on Saturday, two on Sunday, two on Saturday already gone. Make sure you get your tickets and come check it out.